Hey guys, Steven here with Valley Vapors. Um, today, I've got a little kind of tutorial how to video on uh, the Kanger Tech Sub Tank Plus Mini Sub Tank Regular, um, which is the version below this one. Um, basically, when I got it, I looked, I looked up a bunch of uh, reviews on how to properly change the atomizer and the coil in there. Um, tried it their way, didn't like it their way, and uh, shot hot lava in my face, popped, gurgled, um, didn't run properly, so uh, I'm going to show you how I like to do it. Alright guys, so right here we have the Kanger Tech Sub Tank uh, Plus, it's a 7mm tank, and I'm going to show you guys how I properly put a coil in and stuff the cotton in these with the cotton that is provided and the coils that are provided. You can obviously learn how to do it yourself. Um, wrap in your own coils, get different cotton depending on what you like. If you like the pads and the cotton bacon or the little uh, braided uh, things they have out there. I don't know all the different types they have but I prefer the cotton bacon or the uh, little pads they come with. But uh, you see down here you have the two connection screws, um, I'm sure you all know how these things work by now, um, but uh, a lot of YouTubers out there and uh, YouTube channels that I've seen um, kind of give you a rough, dis rough description on how to put the cotton in properly after you replace the coil. Um, and I found uh, that you need to really kind of pack it tighter than necessary. Um, and give it, like when you're pulling it through, it wants to have more tension than just a little bit of tension. Otherwise, the wick tends to soak up too much and it cracks and pops and stuff like that. So, if you're doing it in the way that you saw already, um, and it's working fine, continue doing it that way. If you're frustrated with it, try this way. It might help you out. Um, it helped me and a couple of my buddies out um, to get them to run properly. So, you have here the new coil all nice and neatly wrapped up from Kanger Tech. So these guys, you already have one, you know how this goes in. If you don't, you just lift these little screws here up. A little handy dandy tiny screwdriver they give you. Um, you set it in there. I like to try to keep it centered by holding one side still. I'm going in and screwing the other side kind of tightly, not all the way, just to hold it in place. And then spin it around. Get the other screwdriver, or the other screw down with the screwdriver, excuse me. So, yeah, those tighten down. You don't have to wrench them down so tight that it feels like you're about to strip, strip the screw, but you just put them down tight enough so that it's not going to move around when you play with it and kind of readjust it and straighten it out. Um, I use fingernail clippers to clip the leads off, but if you want to use anything else, you can. Whatever works best for you. This is cheap and expensive way of doing it. Do that. So we have the new coil in there. Voila. Nice and let's see if we can get this to focus. Boom. Straight. Beautiful. Works fine. Um, I know from experience this is going to heat up properly fine. A lot of you might want to do this uh, build on a uh, uh, on your actual mod or something like that to fire it and make sure it's heating from the inside out properly, whatever, if you're wrapping your own coils. Um, I know this is going to work fine, so I'm just going to continue with this. I'm going to get my cotton here, because I wasn't prepared. So you have your little strip of cotton here. I'm actually going to zoom back out a little bit. So, you have your little strip of cotton here. Um, a lot of guys say you take about four millimeters off. I generally like to do probably closer to five or six, kind of just eyeball it though, um, and just come from the edge there, and I know it's hard to tell in these videos how much is actually getting taken off, but that's where I cut, it's right about there, um, I'll show you, I have rather long fingers, they're skinny fingers, but they're long fingers, so I don't know if that's going to help you judge how actual, actually thick this is, but that's the uh, cotton strip right there that I do. There it is next to the actual rebuildable deck so you kind of get an idea of size comparison. But with these guys, what I do is I really just wrench down and I twist that end up and just do it until it's a nice tight 
twist because it's a pain in the butt to get these two coils. Stick it in there, slide it through, and this is where you want to kind of be more delicate with it. You got it in, you want to pull it back all the way to the other side though. You want to kind of get enough in there so that it will be able to wick the juice properly and I like to hold the actual coil with my thumbnail or something like that so it doesn't bump around too much. But you want a decent amount of tension going when you're pulling it through. Um, I found, like I said, if you have not enough tension and it's too loosely in there, it soaks up too much cotton, um, I mean too much liquid, excuse me, and uh, it just gurgles and pops and shoots hot lava in the back of your throat and no one likes that. So. Um, Cut it off to about this outside ring right here. Um, and then from there, I like to kind of trim the corners and shape it a little bit, almost to the size of the actual rebuildable deck itself, just kind of round it out. Um, sorry for pulling that out of the camera there. Use this with a stationary camera stand that I jerry rigged, so I'm not the most professional, but it gets the job done. So there you have. And cotton stuffed cut inside. I'm gonna trim down just a little bit more. It's hanging out a little bit further than I like. So I'm just kind of fluff it out so I can see where it's gonna hang. I'm gonna put it with my scissors. And that might look a little bit too much off, but you get the picture. So, don't pack it too loosely, don't pack it too tightly. Um, I found the uh, you can easily pack it too loosely, it's very hard to pack it too tightly. So, from here, you're going to take the little, little uh, housing ring you have there for the atomizer, uh, put that on, which in my opinion is the biggest pain in the butt to build in these things, getting that on there. But. Get it in there. So it's on there like that. Your next step is going to take a screwdriver or whatever you really want um, lying around. Just something thin and easy to get in there and move the cotton around. Um, and you're just going to kind of tuck it around and fill both of those sides on uh, where the cotton's sticking out. Um, don't pack it down tight. Just kind of stuff it in there so it sits and covers both sides evenly. Um, you still want it to be a little on the fluffy side so it soaks the liquid up evenly and nicely so you still get a good vapor but uh, you don't want it too loose so it allows too much liquid and uh, in there so it's looking like that. Now I'm going to crack open a brand new bottle of this beautiful liquid right here. Um, this is actually my first time trying their carnage, so um, I'm sure I'll have a video up or <laughs> or uh, Kevin will put a video up or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, we're both excited. This is both of our first times trying this this liquid. I've been hesitant just because I love Looper so much, and there's a bunch of other brands out there I like. Um, I'm not the biggest strawberry fan, but uh, lately I've been looking for something new, and since I love Looper, I'll try Carnage by Animal. So you basically just saturate it. They say four to five drops. I do more than four or five drops, um, just till it looks saturated to me. Um, that way you can kind of just get it in there. Um, make sure the wicks are all held together, soaking in properly. Um, judging by uh, how quick or how slow the liquid soaks in, you can judge if it's going to be packed too tightly or packed too loosely. If you've been doing it a while. If not, it's going to take you some time to realize what's good, what's bad, but uh, right there, that was perfect in my opinion. And from here, all you got to do is just take a little piece of canthal, or you can even take a little screwdriver like this guy here, or the one they provide you with, and uh, down on the side of the actual um, rebuildable deck, there's two juice holes, one here and one directly on the other side. Um, inside here, what you're going to do is you're going to pull, after you wet it a little bit and get it saturated, you're going to pull the cotton away from those holes and kind of just lightly tuck it away from there. 
Um, that just allows more liquid to kind of fill into this since it only has two small holes at the bottom. Um, that way the cotton doesn't have to do all the job of getting the liquid to the coil. Um, the actual rebuildable deck can let some of the liquid in there and get it um, saturated a little bit more easily for you. But you see the uh, space in between those. Um, pretty even. I'm not too picky with it. I've noticed that it's not the most important thing in the world. It definitely does help. But uh, right there is what you want when you see it. Um, yeah, it'll cap right there. Screw that on. You got your glass. Screw that on. And you're good to go. Thank you very much, guys, and I really hope this helped out.